Good evening. I'm Pastor Vance Mortensen from Saranac Lake, New York, and I'm coming to you with an evening prayer service for the Racket Lake community and friends and family of Maggie and myself on this day of Pentecost. As you know, Pentecost is a celebration of the Holy Spirit coming to earth following the ascension of Jesus as Jesus promised. Please join me tonight to celebrate in scripture and in prayer this day of Pentecost. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun in our eyes, behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We have two scripture readings tonight that are appointed by the Revised Common Lectionary. One is from chapter 20 of the Gospel of John, and the other is from chapter 2 of the Acts of the Apostles. The Gospel according to John, chapter 20, beginning at verse 19. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And after he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. And then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. And if you retain the sins of any, they are retained. From chapter 2, beginning at verse 1, from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, they, the disciples, were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues, as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit had given them ability. And now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans, and how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Both of the scriptural accounts that we have just heard introduce the arrival of the Holy Spirit to the disciples in the locked room. The door was locked, for the disciples feared further retribution following the crucifixion of Jesus. A lot of people these days are maybe overly fixated on when can we unlock our church doors and when are we able to get together to worship. Well, these two passages clearly show us that uh, even behind locked doors, the Holy Spirit has a way of finding us. The Apostles were afraid of what was out there, if you will, and were hiding in here. I think sometimes we forget that church is really not always in here, but it's out there. And if there's one thing that the day of Pentecost shows us is that while the apostles were hiding and afraid for their lives, the Holy Spirit came to them, and they were then freed. They were free to unlock that door. They were free to go outside. Church doesn't always happen in the church, if you will. I knew a, a, a woman minister who had four young children, and she was very concerned about her spiritual life because her day was spent cleaning house, taking care of young children, 
washing clothes and folding clothes. And she felt so bad that she just didn't have time for church like she used to. Well, her spiritual advisor said, you don't have to be in church to be in church. Everything that you do in your daily life, whether it's cleaning house, do that to honor God. If it's folding clothes, do that to honor God. If it's caring for your children, uh, hurt, uh, helping them when they get hurt, uh, cooking their meals, uh, cleaning them up and putting them to bed at night, do it to honor God. I think in our rush these days, and uh, we're many of us here are involved in that, is how are we going to open, quote unquote, open church uh, these days? Well, the church is already open. The Holy Spirit is here. Church is obviously a place where we gather together to honor and worship God and also to be with each other and find out what's going on in each other's lives and celebrating with each other and helping each other where we can. Well, that spills out into the world. You don't have to be in church to practice church. And I think that's one of the messages from Pentecost today. May it be so. Amen. Continuing on, I'd like to have a brief moment of silence, and you are welcome to voice your prayers and concerns and thanksgiving silently or aloud where you are. Let us pray together. I ask your prayers for the Racket Lake community who, in these most unusual circumstances, are preparing for summer visitors and guests. especially prayers for kin. Lord Jesus, stay with us. For evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our companion in the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we may know you as you are revealed in Scripture and in the breaking of the bread and through the Holy Spirit, grant this for the sake of your love. Amen. Please join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you. Amen. And now in closing, visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all the snares of the enemy, wherever we may be. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty, merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us both this night and forever. Amen. Have a blessed evening.